Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will learn the difference between first angle projection system versus third angle projection system. So let's start. So orthographic projection is nothing but a technical drawing in which different views of an object are projected on a different reference plane observing perpendicular to the respective reference plane. Right, so these are the different reference plane, horizontal plane in short form we will call it HP, vertical plane VP, side view or profile plane PP. Different views are projected, front views are projected on vertical plane, top views are projected on horizontal plane and side views are projected on profile plane or side plane. So these are the respective position of uh, vertical plane, profile plane or side view plane and this is the horizontal plane. So the difference between first angle projection and third angle projection. So in first angle projection, object is imagined to be in the first quadrant. While in case of third angle projection, object is imagined to be in the third quadrant. The object lies between observer and plane of projection in case of first angle projection system while the plane of projection lies between observer and the object. So this is the relative position. Let's say if observer is observing from this side, right? So uh, this would be the first quadrant behind that second quadrant. So below the second quadrant, there will be a third quadrant and in front of third quadrant, there will be a fourth quadrant. And let's say object is lying in the first quadrant, right? So we can also say the location or position of a object is when lying in the first quadrant is above HP. This is our horizontal plane. So above HP and this is our vertical plane in front of VP. So if object is in the first quadrant, we can say it is above HP and in front of VP. Similar way in third angle projection system, object is kept in the third quadrant and uh, these are the respective position of other quadrant. This is the plane of projection and this is the object, right? So in case of third angle projection system, to view the object from this side, this vertical plane must be transparent then and then we can view the object right so plane of projection may or may not be transparent in case of first angle because we do not need to see through the plane while in case of third angle projection uh, plane of projection must be transparent now when the views are drawn in the relative position the top view comes below the front view and right hand side view is drawn to the left of the front view and in case of third angle, uh, top view comes above the front view and right hand side view is drawn to the right side of the front view. So what it says, let's say uh, in case of first angle projection method, you have to always draw the front view above the top view, right? So first you have to draw the front view, then below that you have to draw the top view and with by taking the reference of front view and top view, you can draw the left hand side view or right hand side view. But compulsorily, in case of first angle projection method, left hand side view you should have to draw on the right side of the front view and right hand side view you have to draw on the left side of the front view, right? So you have to remember this uh, uh, relative position of a front view, top view, left hand side view and right hand side view. Similar way, in case of third angle projection system, again you have to draw first front view and top view will be above the front view right so top view you have to draw above the front view and the right hand side view should be drawn on the right side of the front view and left hand side view should be drawn on the left side of the front view right hand side view is nothing but when we see the object from the right hand side so whatever view it is it is called right hand side view and left hand side view is nothing but whenever we see the object from left hand side and whatever uh, view we can see that is called left hand side view. So to prepare the symbol of uh, projection system, uh, we have uh, we have taken this uh, frustum of a cone, 
right this is the first term of a cone now let's see if we want to draw it's a front view while observing from this side it's a front view will be like this so this will be a straight line so this is the front view of a first term of a cone and for a left hand side view because we are observing from this side from the left side of the observer so you can view this a smaller circle and you can view this a bigger circle so it would be the side view would be two circle which is projected on a profile plane and again we have to rotate the side view plane 90 degree so that we can get our symbol of first angle projection system so this is the symbol of first angle projection system uh, this is also the same way you can derive this symbol as well both of the symbols are uh, used for a first angle projection system so if object is kept like this so we will get this uh, as a first angle projection system symbol again we have to rotate this plane right so this bigger side would become nearer to the circle and the smaller side would be away from the circle so this is the first angle projection system symbol similar way you can uh, derive the symbol of third angle projection system as well by keeping the object in the third quadrant so generally we should avoid this uh, hidden circle while drawing the side view so that's why we have to keep this two view as our symbol of a first angle projection system and in this case it would be these two views this is the pictorial view of first term of cone that we have already seen this is front view we are observing this from left hand side so this is left hand side view again in third angle this is our front view and this is our left hand side view so in in third angle projection system left hand side view should be drawn on the left side so whatever we see from this side we should draw on the left side of the front view so we can see this smaller circle then this bigger circle so this both of the circles should be drawn on the left side of the front view this is our front view so the, that's how we can derive the symbol of third angle projection system I hope you understand the concept of first angle and third angle. Uh, do like, share and subscribe to my channel for such more content and we'll see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.